So I actually wasn't planning on filming this video today at all, to be quite honest. I didn't really feel like it and I was just gonna like stick this into like another album haul, but I don't know. Maybe it's because today was like my last day of class that I just suddenly got this rush of endorphins or whatever. So here we are. Also, since I'm within my school vicinity there's actually some targets here that have itsy's albums so i thought i would just do a quick little like chill vlog you know i'm not gonna like talk too much i think i might just like talk right now and then just film the clips and just go straight into the unboxing there's a store that has the limited edition albums we actually got it in today so i can grab that too so that's exciting let's go we're actually here already I know I said I wasn't gonna like talk anymore in this vlog, but I just wanted to say this super quickly. So yeah, they only had these two versions over here. I think the version that I'm missing, it's like this, but it's like black and the photos down here. Um, if you guys saw that one second clip <laughs> that I got, um, that was actually like the entire stock that they had. Like they just had the whole box of Itzy albums on the table right there. So I was like digging through it. Uh, they only had those two versions, but the reason why the clip was so short is because literally right when I took out my camera, <laughs> an employee like walked up to me and she was like, hey, how can I help you? So obviously that was super awkward, but I did ask her and she said that that was all that they had. So yeah, that sucks that they only had two versions, but I was I was even surprised that they like had it out like that. So yeah, um, I mean, I could go to another Target to find like the third version, but to be honest, like the only Target exclusive item that they have, it's a postcard and I don't really like mind like postcards that much. So yeah, I think I can survive with not getting a third Target exclusive. Like I said, there is a store that we got the limited editions in and we also got the standard versions in. So like if I'm going to go there to get my limited edition, might as well like get the like last version there. So I think I'm just going to do that. So yeah. And also I think it'll be fun to like see the difference between like a American press and a Korean press album in case people are curious about that, even though there's not much to it, but... Are you gonna open it up? No, it's okay. You're right, opening yeah. up for a ride. I know. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't handle the face. It's too much. Alright, hello. Welcome back to the unboxing of Itzy's Cheshire album. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I do have all of the versions here. These two in the middle, of course, are from Target. So these are the Target exclusive slash American press albums. And these two I had to get from a K-pop store. So these are the Korean press. But yeah, we do have all of it here. We have versions A, B, C, and the limited version. This time around, they didn't make the limited version so difficult to get, so thank God, but yes. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. It feels like forever since I've done like a formal <laughs> unboxing video. It feels so weird to finally be doing one again. I think the last one I did was for Maxidents, so yeah, kind of wild, but this was the version that I couldn't find at Target though. Um, well, I only went to one Target to be fair, so maybe it could have been at a different one. All right, so this is what the album looks like. I really like the back cover with like, it says like Itzy, kind of like engraved almost. I think that's so cool. Low-key, I feel like this could have been the cover, you know? But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. It is very similar in terms of packaging to their previous album, Checkmate. But yes, okay. So my thoughts on this comeback, I'm gonna have to be totally, completely, 100% honest with you guys. I don't know how I feel about this comeback yet. I know a lot of people 
like really really like this song i remember when it first came out or like even the teasers everyone was going crazy over it already i think it's because like everyone hated sneakers so much they were just like they just wanted something different from that so that's why they like got very excited over it but i mean i do like this concept i think the cheshire like i think it's for the cheshire cat right i'm not like a huge like is it from alice in wonderland not too sure but i think that's the concept and the vibe they were going for but i think like in terms of i don't know this comeback to me personally i just don't know how to feel about it i don't hate it and i actually think the song is pretty catchy it did have to grow on me quite a bit but i don't know i feel like like when they first released the teasers for this concept i was a little confused for a second because like this concept kind of seems very similar to what they did before with checkmate like not the sneakers concept but like the more like you know what i mean like this color scheme and all that like the vibes were very very similar so i was kind of confused as to which direction they were going with this but um when they when i saw the music video it kind of made sense to me you know like they're going for the Cheshire Cat, like, I guess, tricksters, you know, jokesters. They were pulling pranks and doing little tricks to the audience. I think that's the vibe they're going for. See, this is what I mean. Like, I'm just not, like, I can't really pinpoint what it is exactly, especially judging by these, like, teaser pictures. So that's what kind of threw me off a little bit. But anyways this is the CD. I was actually pleasantly surprised by the B-sides though. I actually did enjoy the B-sides. Um, I really liked Snowy and Freaky. Snowy just kind of gives off that like, that like Christmas, but in like a fun, different way, like a different type of Christmas song, which I do like. And it's perfect for the Christmas season right now. And Freaky, I did enjoy as well. I actually, actually I'll get into it a little more later but yeah that was actually a pretty short photo book all right let, now let's get into our inclusion so it looks like we get a folded poster Ooh. now i don't hate the concept obviously i think i do like this concept like i love the outfits this like furry background i think is really nice but i was just like confused by the overall concept if you know what i mean okay and then this is like a little lyrics poster and then ooh, what is this oh it, i i'm guessing this is like maybe a spinning top like a folded top maybe to kind of go along with the whole cheshire concept i'm just guessing here but all right ooh, we get into our inclusions already we got this ooh, it's like a clear postcard we got chaeryong's this is so cool though she looks so pretty it's like a clear postcard Ooh, we also get, oh, we also get this film strip and we got Yuna's. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, we get three photo cards. Okay, you can see the name on the back, but the first one, this is like a concept photo card. We got Chetio again. Given very much Oriana Grande. Is it giving Ariane? Arianka? Okay. Ooh, okay. I see the signature on the back, but we got, we got this fusion photo card. Oh my goodness. She looks gorgeous. I love her hair at this comeback. The gray short hair looks so good. She's so pretty. Oh my god. What? <gasps> Another Eugen? Oh my goodness. <gasps> this one has like eyes on the back. Wait, I love the outfit as well and the sunglasses. What? This bias luck though? Eugen's actually like liking me this comeback? Okay. So yeah, those are our pulls. All right, now we have the, I'm assuming, I hope this is the B version. This is the Target exclusive one though. So we do get an extra postcard. I don't know if it's like a group postcard or a random member postcard, but I guess we'll find out. All right, so this is what it looks like. Again, I really like this back picture, like um, cover. I feel like this should have been like the front cover, you know? But yeah, anyways, as I was saying, I mean, again, I, I don't mean to be like so negative, you know? I don't mean to like, this isn't like a hate rally towards Itzy or anything like that. I'm just saying how I feel. Um, I feel like I maybe need some more time for this era to grow on me. I mean, it, this did come out like two days ago. So obviously my opinion can change. It always has. So this isn't like my final opinion. But yeah, like I feel like the music video really encapsulates like the whole concept they were going for and like what the song's going for. So I feel like they should have, you know, like gone for that concept throughout the entire like photo books and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Kind of like with sneakers, you know, like sneakers was that whole like 
colorful, fun concepts, yet like the photo book and stuff like that was like very royal and serious. So they should have embraced that throughout the entire concept. I mean, this concept, to be honest, I really do like this like photo shoot and concept. I feel like the furry background and stuff like that matches super well. I love all of their outfits. And yeah, I do like this. I feel like this is my favorite concept out of the three, but yeah, like I wish we would have seen like, you know, like the music video was very colorful. They, they were on like a TV set, you know, there were like question marks everywhere, mystery, pranks, pianos crashing and all that. I feel like that would have been cool to see like in the photo books and stuff like that. But you know what? Last time they gave us like a special edition, like, you know, with a sneakers concept. So maybe this time they'll do another special edition with like, you know, like the music video concept and all that. I don't know. But yeah. But anyways, I do really like this photo shoot, though. The furry background is really pretty. Yeah. Sorry if I sounded like very like hateful or negative there. I didn't mean it like that. But I don't know. That's... This comeback was just a little confusing to me personally, but yeah, anyways. I mean, if you like the comeback, then you like it. We all have our different tastes, but anyways, I feel like I have to clarify that every time, otherwise people go crazy <laughs> in the comments, but anyways. Okay, this is the same lyric poster. Looks like we got a different poster. I'm assuming these are random because they don't match with the concept of the photo book. Yeah, like this kind of threw me off. Like this kind of gives like ballerina vibes. So I was like, is this is like a ballet concept, a darker ballet concept. This is the same like spinning top. Okay, so I'm assuming this is the Target exclusive postcard. Oh, it's random. Oh my God, we got Eugene again. Oh my goodness. Does that mean, okay, I'm assuming maybe, oh wait, no, never mind. I take, I was about to say like, this is probably the signed postcard, but this is a Target exclusive, so. Probably not, but I did get a cop a signed copy from their store and it did ship out. So I'm excited for that. This is Fusion's postcard. Ooh, for our clear postcard, we got Yeji's. I really do like these clear postcards, so they're really cool. All right, and then, ooh, we got a Chaeryoung film strip. I do have a film strip like collect book, so honestly, I'm down for any film strips so I can put it in there. Okay, I'm trying not to like show the names and stuff like that. <gasps> Ooh, we also got a Yeji uh, concept photo card. The bangs are so intense. I love it. All right, and then... <gasps> Ooh, oh my god, we're very Ryujin and Chaeryoung blessed today. We got a Chaeryoung photo card. She is kind of like my second bias now, so like, hey, not complaining. She looks very pretty. All right, and then the last photo card... Oh, it's a unit one. Oh my god, wait, this is so cute. We have Leah and Yeji with like cat ears. Or like they should have, this is what I mean. Like they should have fully embraced like one concept, you know, like the cat, Cheshire cat. But yeah, this is so, oh my god, in the back too. I didn't know there were unit photo cards. Wait, this is so cute. All right, last but not least, we have the C version. See, this is what I mean. Like this is... Like they made the photo like the front cover, which I feel like they should have done for the other versions. I think it looks so nice. Oh, this is the cover. And then the back. Yeah, this one, I think this was like the first concept that they released on the teasers. I was like, oh, is this like a emo ballet sort of concept that they're going for? Like, it would have been cool, like, again, it's the Cheshire cat, so they could have done, like, cat ears, maybe, stuff like that, bring out their inner furries or whatnot. But yes, I am excited to see what this era has to offer, though. And a lot of people do like this song, actually. I've seen a lot of, like, people love it the first listen, so, hey, at least people like it. Oh, this is, like, kind of... Oh, wait, this is, like, the concept that they did for... Oh, this is like a mix of the two. Okay, that makes sense. Cause yeah, these outfits look very familiar. Oh, totally did not see that photo card. Oh yeah, and then we get the furry background concept again. So I guess if you wanna get like the best of both worlds, you can get um, this version, which has the best cover in my opinion. So hey, it's a win for everyone. But we do have the limited edition as well. I don't know why last concept, I mean, last era, they made the limited edition like kind of difficult to get. Like it sold out so quickly. I literally had to get it from their US store for like so overpriced. But 
thankfully this time I didn't have to like stress about it too much. But yeah. Oh shoot, I was gonna talk about Boys Like You, but I totally forgot, so I'll talk about it in the limited edition. But yeah. All right, so again, this is the same. I'm just taking out everything that's like the same basically. And then, let's see. Oh my God. <gasps> is this the, oh wait, no. I think we, yeah, we got this poster already. And then we have our Target exclusive postcard. Oh, we got a Yuna this time. I was about to say like Yuna hates me again this era because like I didn't pull her last time at all, but this time we got her postcard. So nice, we got one of everyone. All right, and then, oh, we got a dupe for the clear postcard. And then for the film strip, ooh, we got Leah this time. I really like that jacket. All right, I'm grabbing the concept photo card. <gasps> ooh, we got Leah again. I like how we're not getting dupes for like these ones. Nice. And then for this photo card, ooh, we got Yunus in the sunglasses. <gasps> I really like the sunglasses set, it's so pretty. All right, and I did see the back of this because it was in the photo book, but we got, oh my God, we got Yeji sunglasses one too. <gasps> OMG, am I gonna like collect the whole sunglasses set? All right, finally, we have the limited edition. It's a little different from their previous limited edition, but at least it doesn't have that annoying like baggy that it was in last time. I like the silver foil as well. Yeah, so let's see. And it is slightly smaller than the other ones. Oh, I'm guessing this one is like a mix of both of the concepts, so I guess. If you want the best of both worlds, you can get this one as well. I think this one probably has more inclusions in it. I forgot what exactly, but yeah. I feel like for the limited edition at least, they could have like given us a third concept maybe. I don't know. I feel like it's, if you were to get all of these versions, it's kind of repetitive, but yeah, I mean, at least the pictures are different and they all look very pretty. It's like very, the entire color scheme is very black, white, gray, and navy. But yeah, anyways, I was gonna talk about Boys Like You. I know like everyone <laughs> shitted on that song as well because it kind of continued with their like kids bop sort of vibes. And honestly, like, I didn't really, like, pay attention to it that much when it first came out, but I was listening to it again because this album came out, and honestly, like, sonically, I do like it. It is pretty catchy. I think it's mainly just the lyrics that throws everyone off, you know, like the mommy lyric and, like, I am so pissed. But yeah, honestly, like musically though, I do like the song. It is pretty catchy. I don't know. I mean, I liked sneakers. So like I could just have the shittiest music taste in the world. You guys are probably like cursing me right now, but hey, if it's catchy, it's catchy. I, I can't deny it. So yeah, like overall, this is like a pretty good mini album to be honest. It is kind of short though. Like I didn't expect it to only be four songs, but I mean, I feel like sneakers wasn't that long ago anyways. I really do like that purple like fur coat. I wish I owned a fur coat, you know? I just can't pull it off, especially since I live in California. Like, who am I kidding? Where am I gonna wear a fur coat? I mean, nowadays though, it's been very, very cold. It's literally the low 60s in California, which honestly I kind of love because I don't really like the heat. So I'm kind of like thriving right now. Plus it's the holiday season, so it's very appropriate. But yeah. Anyways, we have the things. To oh, oh, there's like a little extra picture. Okay, this time. Oh, that's cute. The CD is different. It's like black instead of like mirrored. Now we have all of the inclusions. Let's see. This is like slightly different. The lyric poster. It's like a lighter blue this time. All right, let's see what this. Oh my god, this is so cute. It's like a little like film photo thing of all the members this is so cute oh my god i love this okay next oh it looks like a folded poster Ooh, we got leah's oh her hair though it's like a bunch of bows on top that's cool Ooh, we got a yuna this time for the clear postcard and then i'm assuming this is the same oh my god there's like a lot more things in here let's see we get the sticker sheet see like they put like cats here and stuff like that like where's the cats in the photo books hello such a missed opportunity okay and then is this the same poster it looks like it i think it is all right maybe there's just two posters <laughs> i don't know okay anyways let's see <gasps> Oh, I'm guessing this kind of looks like its own version, but this photo card, we got Yuna. 
This is so pretty. I love her nails and the outfit. Wait, what concept is this from? I did not see this at all. Like, same with this Leah concept. Why didn't they put this in the photo book? The hell? <gasps> Ooh, we got another Yuna photo card. This one's so pretty. Ooh, the backs are also, like, different. I'm guessing this is maybe, like, its own set. Like, a limited edition set. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, we also get this, like lenticular selfie card that's interesting we got yeji's it's like so curved <laughs> do you guys see that but oh my god that's so cool i don't really see a lot of like lenticular selfie cards but yeah these cards are so pretty all right so that was my unboxing of itsy's cheshire thank you guys so so much for watching if you enjoyed make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below for more videos like this and yeah i'll see you guys all in the next video Goodbye.